Hey everyone, Krista from Expedition Wildlife here. Today I want to tell you all about one of my favorite products to get before I go trekking or hiking in any major destination, and that is the Cicerone Press guidebooks. Cicerone Press is a UK-based publishing company that puts out the best guidebooks for walking, trekking, mountaineering, climbing, and cycling. Locations feature some of the most famous as well as least known destinations in the world. The company is not a big one, but they do have a huge list of incredible authors that are experts on the topics or regions that they write about. Not only is getting a Cicerone guide helping small business, but you're getting the best information out there for that destination. Before I get into this review, I do want to be transparent and let you know that I'm an affiliate for Cicerone. This means that any links that you use that are linking to Cicerone likely has my affiliate link attachment to it, and I might get a small commission at no additional cost to you. Just know that I'm never going to review or recommend any products that I don't personally use or would recommend for another person. Cicerone Press guidebooks have actually gotten me through some pretty intense long distance treks, including the Tour de Mont Blanc and the really intense GR20, as well as some more mild walks, such as hiking in the Cairngorm Mountains in Scotland or around Iceland. While my preference is more trekking and walking, they do have lots of climbing, mountaineering, and cycling guides as well. Just know that I'm gonna be focusing a little bit more on the trekking aspects since those are the guides that I have. Let's take a look at what's inside the Cicerone Press guidebooks and you can see exactly why I love them so much. So we're gonna use my GR20 Corsica guide as an example here. You can see on the front, uh, there's a PVC covering and it's a plastic covering that's attached to the, to the uh, book itself. These are really great for taking out on the trail because even through rain and sweat and everything else that we experienced on the trail, you can see it still actually looks really great. So one look at the table of contents and you'll see that the guides are actually really comprehensive. Uh, you likely won't have any remaining questions after you read through everything in here. Uh, and there's lots of important information, including how to get to your destination, how to get around the area where you're going to be hiking, any safety considerations or concerns, um, best times of season that you can go, and other related topics to that. Even just flipping through the beginning part of the guide, you can see that there's a ton of information in here pertaining to the history and other info that would be critical to actually getting to your destination safely and efficiently. So for multi-stage routes, each day or stage will be discussed in detail. Here's the first stage on the GR20, for example, and you'll see that there's information here pertaining to where you start and finish, the total distance that you would travel during that stage, the total elevation gain and loss, and the estimated amount of time that you would spend uh, on that stage for that day. All guides also have overview maps of the area as well as more detailed maps of each stage. The detailed maps include elevation maps, as you can see here, and specific locality maps for each stage showing the topography, any points of interest, including rivers, peaks, and accommodations during your route. A lot of people forget to look in the back of the book, but there is a ton of useful information in the appendices as well. There are details about the facilities along the route, as well as useful locations that you would need to know about and their contact information and addresses, and language notes. So if you're going somewhere uh, where they're speaking a language that you don't actually speak, these little guides in here can be like even bringing a separate language guide so you don't have to bring two books at once. One thing that I really appreciate too about the Cicerone guides is the fact that there are emergency contacts and addresses in here. If you're traveling out of country, always jot down the contact information in the nearest consulate or embassy for your country. So you'll also see for stage one that even as we flip through here, there is so much information, even just about this one day on the trail. And again, turn by turn directions, everything that you'll need to know about points of interest along the way, your elevation maps and your detailed locality maps. Depending on the guide you get, each physical book averages around 15 pounds, which is about $19 US. 
While eBooks are a little bit less expensive, I do recommend getting a physical book to take along with you on your trek. Cicerone has published over 350 guides from countries all over the world. And since they're a UK based company, a lot of their products do come for walking and trekking in the UK. However, they do have guides in Africa, such as the Atlas Mountains in Morocco, in Asia, such as the Himalayas, as well as in the United States for the Pacific Crest Trail, for example. The Cicerone guides are a definite must for anyone looking to have the most full and comprehensive information out there about their outing. To find a full list of the guides offered by Cicerone Press, check out their website and go to their shop. And we'll put a link to that in the video description. I would love to hear about where you all are planning to trek one day or to travel. I recently picked up the Kungsleden guide from Cicerone and it's super comprehensive on everything that I need to know about trekking this long distance hike in Northern Sweden. Thanks for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know in the comments what you think and I'll see you next time.